We are currently facing an opioid and substance abuse crisis in the province of British Columbia in Canada. To give you an idea, for example, in June 2017, this year, more than 111 deaths were associated with substance abuse. And this number has doubled since a year prior in 2016. Some of these individuals who are struggling with addiction and substance use do seek help by going to addiction recovery programs. However, even then, once they graduate and they're back into their lives, some of them relapse, overdose, and unfortunately, several lives are taken following graduation from addiction recovery programs. So we're trying to solve this societal need by identifying technologies and developing technologies that can help us to identify individuals who are at risk of overdose, and then use technologies to also intervene and prevent that from happening. So what we have done is we have formed a very unique team of neuroscientists, neurotechnologists, as well as people with lived experience to use VR technology and identify um, a technology that can objectively measure how susceptible an individual is to overdose. Some of the earliest successes in VR we're in mental health applications like exposure therapy, and we're building on that. We bring two VR experts who have been in the domain since 1990, including at the first VR clinic in the United States. Our first phase is for use in clinical settings in a residential recovery center. Now these centers have a high degree of success, but when patients leave, they're likely to encounter triggers that may lead them to relapse. So the virtual environments that patients will see are their triggers. This will give patients the opportunity to develop coping techniques with their therapist in order to build resilience. Our VR system is also dual use, one for patients, the other for therapists who can monitor patients via direct observation and by looking at data from the bio and neuro sensors. Our future phase will focus on a VR system for patients to use at home. This will not only enable patients to practice their resilience, but with their therapist to track their success in the real world. What we are trying to accomplish is really to make an impact in the addiction and depression community. We really try to give something that doesn't exist yet. We are the cutting edge of those kind of technology. So our users are people that are youth that suffer from depression or addiction. And our competitive advantage is really this notion that we develop this product as a community. So it will fit the need of this community. We usually have this perception that drug overdose and abuse happens on this street. Actually, quite the contrary. The major crisis right now is those individuals who appear on the surface to not have any problems. Our colleagues at work, our classmates in school, and our sons and daughters. Our hope is that for our technology to be able to offer an objective measure to identify all individuals who are at risk and to intervene before it's too late.